I brought out the Stoker coach gun to shoot clays this morning. I did not do good. That's not really on the shotgun. That's more on me. I'm just not used to the two triggers. I kept bumbling that up. So for video making purposes, the shotgun is unloaded. And you always have to put it on fire every time. So put it on fire, open up the action, and it pushes it back down every time. So you always got to remember that because when I handed someone new, uh, not this one specifically, but the over under I have from Stoger also, uh, people always forget that and they'll go to fire and it doesn't fire because it's still in safe. But outside of that, I'm not used to the two triggers. So, you know, you go pull and uh, I would hit this one. Then when I go for the second one, I would, it would just mess up my rhythm. Because uh, typically you can just go one, one, you know, and it'd be perfect, uh, perfectly on target, right? But with this, uh, two triggers, you can fire them both at once. A lot of fun. And uh, got it, that's like the first video I put in the intro is me shooting that. And I still miss the clay. But uh, that's more on, again, more on me, not the shotgun. Yeah, for the actual uh, usable, usable barrel length, it's 20 inches. But because the chamber is 3 inches, if you're throwing a 3 inch shell, that's not really usable barrel length. Like I would consider everything past that chamber to be the barrel. And that would be 17 and uh, I think 17 and a half inches right there. So light, handy for recoil. It's not super harsh because of the two barrels. If it's a single shot, it would be like half the barrel weight. That way it kind of helps with recoil but from the other shotguns i shot today and in the past so today was the over under with a longer barrel so more weight less recoil and uh so one of my girlfriend and her father he brought his benelli and that was super nice to shoot super light recoil but with shooting this the recoil is not harsh um you know after i guess 50 plus shells it, it's not hard on the shoulder like I'm, I'm fine you know but if i was doing any anything else beyond uh, low brass bird shot i could see it start to hurt but outside of that, from Stoger's offerings, this is uh, stainless steel walnut. I know they have other tactical options out there. They have one that's like a synthetic stock, synthetic forend, ported barrel, and they have a rail underneath for you to throw on a flashlight or a red dot. And for a similar price, being under four hundred bucks, that's that's pretty cool. I don't I don't see myself buying that, but that that's that's cool. You know, you can't deny that. I'm more of a, a fud. I like the old school stuff. And with this, you know, perfectly handy shotgun for shooting clays and hunting and whatever else you could do with a shotgun, right? But outside of that, um, there really isn't, I guess, much more to go through. I can go through the assembly, which is super simple on my side of things, which is uh, if I was going to clean it, for it's the deceptively simple. It's like looking at a revolver where you're like, oh, yeah, it's simple. But there's a lot of, uh, like, moving parts going on inside of the action itself. But the assembly right here on the forehand, just this piece right here, that hooks on. Trying to get on camera right here. And that is it. Now it's disassembled. So super handy, light, and uh, for barrel length options, you can get longer barrel. Um, you know, I, I don't see myself having, needing anything shorter, being it more handy, but less, I guess, less accurate, less practical in that sense. But cool. Um, and that is going to be it. For this video, I'm trying to keep it short. Thank you guys for watching.